Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, as you guys, I guess this is the month of guests because I've had a lot of guests uh, coming and going through the kitchen. But I love it because uh, my buddy Sal is here. How you doing, bud? Good. How are you? Good for. Uh, Thanks for having me. Here, good man. for us, huh? Because we're doing steak. We're gonna do steak. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let me tell you about Sal first. Uh, we met uh, via the internet, and we've talked. It's the first time we've ever met each other in person, and it's totally cool. He looks as good as he does on the internet. <laughs> Much better. I have back a face for radio. That's what it is. Exactly. <laughs> I know. I know what that's like. So, um, so anyway, uh, Sal sent me a video. It was uh, Chow Chow. Chow Chow. Yeah. Chow Chow, and it's that Italian guy that was on Top Chef. That's right. And what did we see in that video? Well, I I thought it was interesting. I thought you would like to see it because he was showing how to do a steakhouse style steak at home, and so I thought, yeah, this is something Jack would like. So I sent him the video. And in the video, at the end, they told us how to do dry aging at home. Right, right. Um, we don't know anything about dry aging. We're just experimenting right now. So we're giving you a real basic uh, view right now. Uh, we have one dried aged, dried, aid, dried aged steak, and then we have one that's just been wrapped like normal. So, uh, so we didn't even plan it. We're just like, hey, let's just do it. We're just gonna do it. Just gonna do it. So let's bring you in close. We'll show you what they look like. But before we do that, um, uh, he also has a radio show. You have a radio show, right? I do. I have an internet radio show on Live 365, Soul Pilot Radio. Just real quick, it's a little moniker that some friends of mine gave me a long time ago on MySpace. I was playing music, and they said it was music for their soul, so I became their Soul Pilot. So, oh, so it says Sal Soul Pilot, right? Sal Soul nickname. Pilot Gomez, yeah. All right, so uh, let's bring you in close. Take a look at this steak. It's going to be cool. We're going to show them side by side. Okay, so uh, here they are side by side. What do you? There, I I bought them identical size. What do you see? Well, you can tell right away that this one is much smaller than this one. This one's been out of the package and aged. You can see the marbling's gotten denser, also according you know, compared to this one. So, yeah, it's a much different looking steak. And look at the color difference. Well, it's it's redder. It's gotten dry. You can tell that just like blood. I guess when you cut yourself, the blood gets redder. It gets denser. So, yeah, it's a it's a big difference. I wanted to see what it tastes like when we're done with it. Okay, cool. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to follow you uh, out to the patio, and I'm going to let you do all the grilling. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. All right, so I'm all rogue on the camera here, and you're going to cook it up for us. Go ahead and put it on. All right, here we go. Here's the aged slice, and here is the fresh out of the package slice. Nice. You can even hear them, Sam. Yeah. So what are we trying to prove today? Well, we're trying to see if it retains its flavor. If you age the beef, it stays as fresh as it was when you, you first bought it out of the store instead right. of having it packaged and wrapped up. So this one, I think, it looks like it's going to bleed out, so it may be just as fresh as that one. Wow. So basically, don't you pay like a premium for aged meat? Yeah, you do. You really do. And so that's why they call it steakhouse cuts because it's, you know, it's more expensive to do for them to age these things for 30 days or more. Wow, all right, so there's the aged one. You can see the, even the fat tightened up on it. And there's a regular one right out of the package. All right, now how do you like your steak? Uh, medium well. Medium well. Yeah. You cook it however you like it, because I can eat it dead, I can eat it rare. <laughs> Anything in between. Okay, we'll do that. Steak is steak, we'll man, do you it. gotta eat it. As long as it's not mooing, we're, we're good. Okay, so looking at these two steaks, one looks a lot wetter than the other. Yeah, and this is the dry one. This was the dry aged meat. This was the fresh out of the package. Uh, we cooked it 10 minutes longer, so there's a big difference in the look just just by looking at them with your eyeballs, but knowing we cooked it 10 minutes longer. And it still didn't even cook anywhere near this one. Not as long as that one. Not right, not but I, don't, I like it like that. So let's give it a try, and let's see if there's any difference All right. in flavor. Uh, let's do it. All right, so you want to do this one first? Yeah, let's try this one. All right. Oh, did you want this one? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. That's not bad. Mm. I love ribeye. But that's the regular steak, so it's not mm-hmm. too bad, yeah. Mm. The test is going to be that one. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let him go first. <laughs> All right. Ready? That's <laughs> <laughs> right, my turn. Mm. Okay. It's more dense, it's a little tougher, but mm-hmm. it's more, still juicy. More flavor to me. It's very juicy still. I thought it would be drier. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> very interesting. Okay. That's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Wow. Okay, 
It is. It's more dense. It's tougher. But I taste... Now, you, you season these equally. Equally every, the same. Yeah, no. Every season equally. This one, in my mouth, had more flavor. It was a little harder to chew, but tasted better than that one. That one tastes more watery, huh? Because of all the liquid in it. Yeah, well, when you say that, yeah, I, I agree with you, yeah. That, that, did, that does have more flavor than this one. Okay, you guys got to try this in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Here, I got all the rules down below. Basically, 38 degrees. Leave it on a cookie, uh, cookie. what do they call it? Cookie racks mm -hmm. for cooling cookies. It works like a charm, but look down below. Um, so, this is a little tougher, more flavor. This is more tender, less flavor. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, uh, I don't know uh, if it's worth it in the restaurant to pay the enormous price difference. It's like anything else. You're paying a premium to eat in the restaurant. But I think you can do it at home, if you choose to do it at home, just as well. I mean, it's really good. That's crazy good. I was impressed. Better than I thought. Okay, so you guys let us know. And if you know anything about dry aging meat, give us some pointers down below. We're, we're just learning like you guys. All right? All right, Sal. Dude. This was fun. That was awesome. This was fun. All right, are we going to dive into this when we get off camera? We're going to eat the rest of this. So. Okay, guys. <laughs> so you can make us some eggs or what? I'll make some eggs. You want some eggs? I'll yeah, that'd yeah, be cool. Okay.